Today we're going to be talking about Portsmouth Island in North Carolina off the Outer Banks. Portsmouth Island was actually a very important um, shipping path where boats would come and offload goods and through several hurricanes it really isolated the people on the island. There's a small village near the north of Portsmouth Island. Portsmouth Island is located south of Ocracoke. And we actually stayed at the North Core, which is now two separate islands. Uh, the village has now been separated. You used to be able to drive there. And then a hurricane about four years ago just took care of that. Uh, to get there, you would have to go to Morris Marina, North Carolina, and get on a little tiny ferry that holds about four cars. It is quite a fun adventure. You want to make sure that as you are exiting off of the ferry that you go ahead and deflate your tires per standard. Look that up for your vehicle and for driving on sand. The ferry drops you off. Uh, the ferry does cost um, a, a money depending on the season. It'll vary, but you have to book that in advance would be the best and you tell them when you want to come back. When you get off there, you're immediately placed on a island with no amenities, no roads, except for sandy beach roads. Um, what you bring is what you have. So please make sure that you are stocked up. Uh, bring all of your sunscreen, your water, your drinks, your food, your hamburger, your ability to make whatever type of uh, amazing foods that you want to make. We made some Funyun burgers that we will tell you about later. But make sure you bring everything and that you clean up when you leave. Uh, make sure you have um, everything that you would need, uh, drying racks, uh, your towels, your shampoos, um, your sunscreen, sunscreen, oh, uh, uh, bug repellent, <laughs> bug repellent. <clears throat> um, yeah, you know, you bring your fishing gear if they allow that. I believe they do. Um, there was only three people on the island, three groups of people when we got there. So the, the island's 13 miles long. So if you want to be away from people, this is it. Um, it's a great place to go for an isolated vacation where you can connect with the beach and one another. You do have some signal there depending on your carrier, but it's nice to just get away and have a real beach experience, enjoy nature. Um, you'll see quite a few sites out there. There are dolphins, there were turtles coming up, laying their eggs. The sea turtle, which you were excited to see. I was very excited to see that sea turtle. I don't recommend eating yourself out of a truck, but I yeeted myself out of the truck and I did not disturb the turtle. Please do not disturb the turtles, but do make note of their location if you can and let Wildlife Fish and Game of North Carolina know where they are nesting so they can come out and properly mark it. And um, in the event they need to move any eggs that they can. Camping is by tent or some people have the pickup truck campers or overland campers where the tent's above the truck. Um, you can camp anywhere on the beach except for the main front. So beside the sand dunes and behind them, you can right up against the sand dunes will even work. You can go anywhere you want and just pick a spot and it's yours. Now, while there are no stores and no amenities as such, there is a very nice bathhouse that is there um, and is powered by solar. Um, there is a little bit of a smell of sulfur in the water, so just be prepared for that. It's not potable water. Propane, Propane. hot water heater yes, it is. for uh, hot showers. It is a nice hot shower in there in the bathhouse. Um, just, you know, don't be prepared. Don't be thinking five star. It's just a nice primitive camping spot. Very nice. Mm -hmm. It is a quite a nice place to take your children with you if they are apt for such primitive adventure camping. We took three of our children with us and they quite enjoyed it. So just make sure that they are ones that can occupy themselves with nature or some type of game that you bring, but it was quite a lovely experience. So it is a wonderful island to go looking for seashells as there are not that many people who go there. You're going to find conches in full form that have not been broken or driven over. Lots of shells of all descriptions. So if you are looking for that perfect seashell, definitely a great place to look while you are there. It's another benefit of not many people there because they're, no one's touching these shells. They're just there. So be prepared for the weather as we were, but yet we 
very quickly became unprepared for the weather as we took the rain tarps off of our tent. That night we went to bed and it was stars everywhere in the sky. It was beautiful. Fell asleep and woke up to biblical rain, A biblical flooding. Of biblical the proportion. The whole island gone. <laughs> and, and we were not prepared to dry out everything that we brought with us, which everything was soaked. So we ended up, we had our little trip a little short. Um, the lady with the ferry was very nice to come and get us. And well, we take took us shelter back. in the- In the bath. It was like three or four in the morning when this yes. happened. So you, we basically camped out in the truck with the air conditioner on for hours until it was time to go. Thank you so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please remember if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and share. We hope to see you again next time. Oh, 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 oh,